Shivapa Nayaka, Shivapa Nayaka R. popularly known as Kaladi Shivapa Nayaka, was a notable ruler of the Kaladi Nayaka kingdom. The Kaladi Nayakas were from Virashaiva Lingayath community and successors of the Vijayanagara Empire in the coastal and Malnad hill districts of Karnataka, India, in the late 16th century. At their peak, the Nayakas built a niche kingdom comprising the coastal, hill and some interior districts Bialusim of modern Karnataka, before succumbing to the Kingdom of Mysore in 1763, which at that time was ruled by Hyder Ali. He was known as Sistina Shivapa Nayaka because he introduced a tax system called Sist. Conquests <laughs> <laughs> Shivapa Nayaka is remembered as an able administrator and soldier. He ascended the throne in 1645. During this time, the last ruler of the diminished Vijayanagara Empire ruling from Velour, Sriranga Raya III was defeated by the Bijapur Sultanate and sought refuge with Shivapa. The growing threat of the Portuguese was eliminated by 1653 and the ports of Mangalore, Kundapura and Hanavar were brought under Kaladi control. Having conquered the Kannada coast, he marched down to Kasargad region of modern Kerala and installed a pillar of victory at Naleshvara. The forts of Chandragiri, Bekal and Mangalore were built by Shivapa Nayaka. Later he invaded north of the Tungabhadra River and captured territory in the modern Darwad district from the Bijapur Sultanate. In the south, when he invaded and laid siege to Srirangapatna in modern Mysore district, an epidemic broke out in his army forcing him to withdraw. In the south, he destroyed the Portuguese political power in the Kanara region by capturing all the Portuguese forts of the coastal region. Administrator Shivapa Nayaka introduced a revenue settlement scheme called SIST, a policy that has found favorable comparison to revenue schemes formulated by the Mughal Emperor Akbar. According to this scheme, agricultural lands were divided into five types depending on the type of soil and available irrigational facilities. A unit of sowing capacity called Konduga was developed and every irrigable land was taxed in varying amounts based on this unit. The rate of taxation depended on the yield in each one of these five types of land, the rate varying from village to village and amounting to a third of the total yield. Shivapa Nayaka gave importance to agriculture which resulted in an expanding agrarian economy. A religious and tolerant man, Shivapa Nayaka performed Vedic sacrifices and rituals and patronized the Hindu Advaita order of Sringeri. He was tolerant towards Christians and gave them land to cultivate. He encouraged the mercantile communities of South India such as the Kamatis and Konkanis to settle down and establish businesses in his kingdom. An interesting episode from the time of Shivapa Nayaka's rule goes as follows. A poor Brahmin named Ganesh Malya came to Kaladi, the capital city, with the intention of finding a job. Having no money, he carried a bag full of home-grown coconuts. Before entering the city, every traveller had to pass through eight toll gates, each of which collected a tax. Because he carried no cash, Ganesh Malya had to part with two coconuts at each toll gate, one as tax and the other as a gift to the official. He also paid with two coconuts at the city entrance. Frustrated with all the tolls, Malya boldly set up his own toll gate, the ninth toll gate and collected a toll after registering full details of travelers into the city in his own register. In return for the toll, Ganesh Malya handed out a receipt with a note new custom station for 18 coconuts, signature of Ganeshaya Raja of Kumta. This went on unnoticed for 18 months before King Shivapa Nayaka heard of it. When summoned by the king, Ganesh Malya admitted he had collected an illegal toll to make a livelihood. Impressed by his honesty and business acumen, Shivapa Nayaka took Ganesh Malya into his service. Shivapa Nayaka was succeeded on the throne by his younger brother Chika Venkatapa Nayaka in 1660. <laughs> Notes <laughs>